Now the last thing we need to do to complete this animation is to add a few labels so I know what the icons are, uh, what they mean. And so for that we'll use the text tool to be showing us what we're looking at. So, so in this case my latest used app was Instagram. Um, so that's going to be the label for that one there. We'll use a Helvetica 12 pigs. That's fine. Shift arrow up three times. Uh, then I'll add layer style drop shadow. And I'll just go into this one, twirl it out, and make it one in size and one in distance. And 100% in opacity. Twirl it in again. And here it sits. Ready to be copied a few times. To here. And to here. And we'll rename this one to apps and rename this one to messenger. So that's good. Let's see what it looks like. I come in. This is the end state. And um, we want them to do the same thing, the exact same thing, like fade in and slide up. So we'll, we'll use another technique this time just to make a some uh, variation here. So we'll take Instagram and say Instagram is the leader uh, in terms of how they move. So I'll just animate the leader and I'll press P for position, Alt P for position to say this is my end state position and Alt T for this is my end state opacity. And then I can just go here and say okay so position, oh well, we could take it down maybe to here and for opacity I'll take it to zero and just let it slide up like that. That looked good. Um, position could use a softer landing, so I'll just edit the graph, take down the destination a bit, pull its handle, make sure it's a smooth landing like that. So that looked really good. Let's use it. Now now we just need to tell all the other, uh, both of the other layers that we want them to behave exactly like that. So I can use a pig whip, the main pig whip, and parent the layers onto Instagram. And now they'll all move like that. Okay. Um, but we also need them to follow Instagram's opacity. So we'll just T, Alt, pig whip. Yep, and G, Alt, Pick Whip. Done. Uh, they now seem to be a bit too high, so we can take, we can still edit them, even though that they actually they have a parent. But you know, sometimes. And there we go. It's a nice bouncy feeling. And they seem to make their entrance in a nice way. We want them to go back in. So it's easy for me to do with the playhead. Let's roll it over. And now I want this effect. Go back. So I'll just um, I'll just clean up in all my layers here by command A and U. So let's start by taking, you know, the leader here, the Instagram leader, and copy the keyframes. So let's say we want them to fly back in now. There. Uh, we can drag out a little indicator so that we know where it is. I'll just right-click these keyframes 
and say keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes and they fall back and we can do the exact same thing for the control layer all right so we'll take the two keyframe sets paste them here Oops. select them right click keyframe assistant time reverse and they nicely fold in.